Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FIFA 20 is here, and I need to teach you guys and talk to you guys about making coins and literally starting FIFA 20, logging on to FIFA 20 for the first time. That's what I want to talk about with you guys today, and that involves the web app, because our first time that we get to access our ultimate teams on FIFA 20 is going to be via the web app. If you are somebody who likes to use the web app, this video should be very helpful for you because I intend to go through how to start your web app days off and how when you first get access to this, when you first get access to your FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, what you can do to start things off to get some coins up there into that top right hand corner, which you can't see right now, um, but to get some coins up there and what you should do on the web app. Now unlike EA Access, there's no time restraint or time constriction on how long you can be on the web app. You can be on the web app 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you so wish. Um, but it is not the most efficient way of trading and we're gonna talk about a few of the things today in this video on why the web app is a very interesting period and if you don't have EA access and you just have the web app, that's okay. Just don't put a lot of pressure on yourself to make coins right away. And I wanna talk a little bit about that as well. So the first thing I wanna talk about is Literally, when you when you log in to the FIFA 20 web app, whatever it looks like, I'm using the FIFA 19 web app right now, obviously because FIFA 20 web app is not out. This is what it looks like. You're probably going to have some packs in the store, unless you're like me, starting on a brand new account that has barely played FIFA in the past. If you've played multiple years of FIFA, you'll have these things called Welcome Back Packs. It'll be in the My Pack section in the store. The first thing you're going to want to do is go and open up those packs. So I have a couple packs here I'm just gonna open. And whatever you get from those packs, um, we'll, we'll go through a few scenarios here today, but 90% of the time, when, when you open one of these packs, like this would be a pretty typical pack that you would get first day. A couple non-rares, some contracts, and all the junk cards, whatever. Sell literally everything. You're gonna sell literally everything because all that you wanna do in this time period is get that coin total up because if you don't have coins you can't buy anything uh, if you don't have any purchasing power uh, in whatever market you're in in the world you can't move or go anywhere because you don't have any ability to make a move or you know just start making money so especially in FIFA you have to sell just about everything so you're gonna go through here sell these non rares look at what they're going for this is a uh, Vela is one of the top players in the MLS. There could be a little bit of hype for this card. You know, in the web app times, um, there's probably not going to be a lot of supply of these cards because think about how small the user base is of FIFA that actually uses the web app and the companion app and then will be on it in the first day. That's such a small section of the entire user base of FIFA that there's probably not going to be a lot of supply on the market. So you're going to see this Vela card. Uh, you might be able to compare the price you see, okay, there's a thousand. Uh, it looks like he's like a thousand coins, and there's some ones on open bid. If this is what his supply and everything, oh, there's one for 400 coins. All right, so he is basically discard. Still list that card up for discard um, and see if you can get a sale. Now, let's say there was, I want to get a decent example here, maybe Amavi. So Amavi right now looks like his cheapest is, wow, he's actually kind of expensive. 2,200 coins right here is the cheapest one that I see. All right, so let's say this is how his graph looks first day of the web app. I would not list my Amabi that I just packed. I would not list him for 2,200 coins. Yes, he's a French left back in League One. There's going to be somebody out there who wants to buy him, but I need guaranteed coins and I need them fast so that I can start trading and start flipping cards and making coins on the web app. So I would probably list this card up. I can't because this is an untradeable pack, but I would probably list this card up at like 1,000 or 1,500 coins. Like you're gonna want to sizably undercut cards like this, only cards like this. These cards sell a lot because people are trying to build their teams and put some teams together before they actually get access to the game. But still, you're looking to get quick coins and get that coin total in the upper right hand corner moving. So I would sell all these cards, even if they're going for their smallest amount and there's not a lot of them on the market. Like the Zay Luis card is probably going to be 400 coins right away from from the start of the game he's probably going to be 400 coins not a lot of people will use this card um, so I would still list it up though because 
you, if you get that card to actually sell, if you find somebody in the world that buys Zay Louise for an SBC or for whatever, um, then you're going to be getting, you know, spend a little bit of extra time. Let that card sit on the market for a few listings. Maybe for one day, you have that card continually listed out an hour at a time or three hours at a time or six hours at a time for overnight. Uh, leave that card up on the market because if you get that one buyer, it's worth it. If you have other coins, if you don't have any coins, then just quick sell the card. But getting 300 and what is what is like getting 400 coins plus minus tax, it would be an extra like 50 or 60 coins than if you sold this card for like what it's going to sell for, like 315 coins or whatever. So basically, when you get these welcome backpacks, long story short, you're going to want to sell just about everything except. For if you get a very high rated player or a player that is very possibly, and if not already confirmed, very close to being confirmed, to get a ones to watch card. Let's say last year I looked at the example of Allison. Let's say that you packed Zhao Felix in the web app stage. I think it is already released that Zhao Felix card will be 80 rated. Let's say you pack his card in the web app his gold card, do not sell that card because there's going to be so much demand for that card in starter teams at the start of the game while he's in packs like this and while there is nobody trying to, um, nobody can play the game right now when you're in this first day or two of web app access, hold on to that card, store it up because it's probably going for pretty cheap on the market and you're going to want to stash that away because yes, that card might be a thousand coins, but that card could be 5K on the first day of EA access. You never know, um, especially with some of those rare, if that's a rare gold card as well. So stuff, especially if it's a little bit higher rated and you think it's gonna get a once to watch, like last year with Goretzka, maybe this year with a Thorgan Hazard could be a very popular once to watch card. Um, maybe a Frankie de Young, um, somebody like that, Furlan Mendy, Militao, depending on which ones of those get ones to watches. Um, I would hold on to those cards, but literally everything else, gold contracts, you can sell them. Keep a few, but you can sell those cards. You're going to get gold contracts. The, the struggle is in the beginning, if you're going to have EA access, you could keep a couple of these contracts just to be safe, uh, but then literally sell everything else. The injury cards early on, probably sell them. Position changes, probably sell them. Um, you know, so do a lot of that stuff early on with those packs you're going to want to sell basically everything because again your main goal is to get this um this coin number in the very top right you can't see it uh, because um well i'll show you to you right there boom 364,000 coins right there is in my account for the foot accountant that is my account right there 364,000 whoa 364,000 coins in my account right but the, you really want to get that coin total and coin amount moving quickly and as fast as possible. So a couple ways that you are going to be trading and making money during this web app period. Um, one thing that you guys are going to be doing, and this is all based around people going and building teams before they can actually get on the game, before they can actually get on EA Access. That You have to think about the mind of the person that you're selling the card to. You have to think about your customer that you're selling the card to, they can't play the game yet. The people that are buying cards during this period of time are either trying to A, buy that card and sell it for more, or they're trying to buy that card and have their team set up already because when the EA access comes or when the start of the game comes, they wanna have a team ready that they can hop in and play games with right away. And I think that's a very good, um, it's probably a pretty good idea to have a decent team set, to the, especially during EA Access, you can get on and start playing games right away without having to try to build a team while you're using your 10 hours. But you have to think about that because when you're trading in the market, you have to know who you're kind of looking to sell to and you're looking to sell to somebody who's trying to build a team. So Premier League, Popular Leagues, Popular Nations. What I have here is I searched these parameters. Gold, Premier League, minimum bid, 600, maximum bid, 650. So basically, I want to look at the cheapest rare gold cards because people love rare golds more than non-rares. Yes, they look at statistics, but if one card has the same statistics and it's a rare versus a non-rare, nine times out of ten, I guarantee you, people will go for that rare card because it looks cooler and it's shiny and it's cool. And especially at the start of the game, people want to have decent teams, right? 
So they're going to be going after some of those cards. Now, um, basically what you're going to do with this method is find a card like this Delafayu card that is something that's probably going to be selling for somewhere around 1,000 coins uh, to 2,000 coins. And basically, find these cards that are on low bid or on open bid. You can even increase this to six to 700 if you want to. And scroll through all these rare cards and look for cards that people might actually try on their team. You're going to want to focus on positions that are used in every single formation, like a center back, probably some variation of a center mid or a CDM. Um, those are going to be the kind of cards that you want to focus on as striker and even a goalkeeper. There's just a lot of goalkeepers to go around, though. Um, but basically what you're going to do with this is like you see, boom, Dennis Suarez, this, is, this would be a solid central midfielder for a starter team. He's Spanish, he's Arsenal, great links all around. So I'm going to add him to my watch list and we're going to compare price. You're going to go down the list here. It's a little bit hard to see. I can uh, know on your guys' screen. So you can see his cheapest one looks like it's about 900 from right here. All right, Maybe about 900 coins. So if I could snag that Dennis Suarez... If I could snag this card for 650 coins, then I would be very inter interested in snagging that card for 650, listing it up for 900, taking the profit and moving on. And that's the kind of stuff you're going to be looking to do. That's the first way I'm going to tell you guys to trade right off the bat on the web app is using the 600 to 700, 600 to 650, searching the Premier League, searching Serie A, searching La Liga, Bundesliga, or League One or popular nations, like French, Italy, England, Germany, Belgium, Portugal, Spain, you, know, you get the idea. But you're basically just gonna be flipping those cards to people who are building their starter teams for when they can actually get on the game and play. Now, I'm gonna show you, before I show you one other way to trade and, and make coins um, during this period using a kind of similar method, I wanna talk about one other thing and that comes with high rated players. And I feel like I didn't address this good enough earlier on. If you pack a high-rated player, I remember in FIFA 17 in the web app period, I packed Miranda. He was an 86-rated center back at the, at the time for FIFA 17. Yeah, or no, FIFA 16. FIFA 16, I think he was 86-rated on Monaco, maybe. Maybe, I'm, I don't know. I remember he was, he was an 86-rated center back, and I packed him. He was going for 20K, and I held on to him. And what happened was he went from about 20,000 coins um, on the, the first couple of days I think there was EA Access, and it came out, and the full game came out, and within a week, I knew that card was going to be higher, and it was. It was like 30,000 coins. So yes, I waited a week for 10K, but um, that's why I want to tell you, it's a card-by-card -card basis. A card like Miranda might not be one to keep. Whatever, let's say you pack an 85-rated center back at the start of FIFA 19. It's a semi-usable card like this Miranda, and it's going for like 30K. Just take your 30K, all right? The only thing you're not going to want to sell is if you pack a very, and I'm talking like very meta card, somebody like a Conte, like a Hazard, like a top tier player, like an 87 rated Hyunmin Sun, 87 rated Hyunmin center forward uh, card for Hyunmin Sun for FIFA 20. If you pack that card in your welcome back pack, first of all, wave, good, first of all, wave goodbye to your pack luck for the rest of FIFA 20. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but you're going to want to hold on to that card because that card's going to explode in value once people get on the game and people start opening packs during EA Access, which is the day after the web app comes out. So if you're not doing EA Access, you'll want to be doing these flipping methods um, a lot more because you'll have more time to do them. But if you're going to be on EA Access, um, you're probably going to be splitting your time between EA Access and the web app, unless there's some sort of glitch thing again, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Um, but again, those high rated players, I think you want to get them out, unless it's a very, very meta player that a lot of people are going to want to put in their team right away. Somebody who's 84 rated or higher that is going to fit the meta of the game that is meta that was meta last year because people in the beginning of the game look at cards that were meta last year, want to get them in their teams this year, and then look around new cards and say, oh, this guy could be good this year. I want to try him out. I want to put him in my team. The very last thing that I want to talk about is another way, another method to make coins in um, FIFA Ultimate Team. And instead of doing the um, rare cards this time, we're going to go with the non-rares. All right. This is just called the non-rare flipping method. 
that I did so freaking much in like FIFA 17, I made millions on this method. It's just a grind, all right? The only time that you should be doing this method is right now in the beginning of the year, or if you're trying to like stock your club up with gold cards at some point later on in the year, like non-rare golds, for whatever reason. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go by league again. So Premier League, 350 bid to 400 max price. It all depends on what they're selling at. So let's say all non-rares in the Premier League, people are trying to build out their starter teams, and all non-rares in the Prem are going for 550 coins which um, let's say that th that's the case right away at the start of FIFA 19, FIFA 20, excuse me. They're all going for 550 coins. You know, all right, so I can pay probably up to like 450 if I want to make like any profit at all on those cards, selling it for 550, taking into account your 5% tax and going from there. So then what you're going to do is basically just go through here and see how many cards you can win, win on bid in that time frame obviously cards that have better stats could sell for a little bit more and have a higher chance of selling because more people would want that card but again people still buy random cards like a guy like caballero probably would sell because he's a decent card he's in the premier league and he is on chelsea i don't know if he's still at chelsea for fifa 20 but that's just an example wellbeck would be a good one elianusi would be a good one because i believe he has five star skills uh, four star skills. All right, that's still a four star, four star, a solid left winger, left to mid to start out a starter team on FIFA 20. So I would look to get this guy on bid at 350 or 400 coins. Um, and you can kind of go on a card by card basis, like I said before, with the rare gold cards. But you're basically just going to be going through here. And the main concept, again, is you're selling to people who are making starter teams and filling out starter teams on the web app um, at the beginning of the game. And you're just looking to flip these cards, get them low on bid, get it a snipe, and flip it instantaneously. There's going to be no investing during the web app, all right? No investing during the web app. Say it with me. No investing during the web app. Good. You got it, okay? You don't need to invest during the web app, at least for that first day until EA Access comes out. Because when EA Access comes out, there's going to be a ton of packs being opened. That's the first time that there will be packs opened on the game, all right? The first time that people will be able to load up FIFA points and rip packs like it's their freaking job, which they're going to do at the start of the game. And then you're going to see a lot of market movements change. A lot of these rare gold cards and these non-rare gold cards are going to be packed. Um, but there's also going to be SBCs out that people are going to be doing. So we kind of have to kind of go with the flow on that as well. But those are the two methods that I want to show you. Um, I showed them out last year and they worked for me last year. They should work again this year because you have to think about the position that people are going to be in. You can't go try to flip a lot of the cards that are going to be four to 5,000 coins that are like 81 rated that aren't even that good stats because they're just rare on the market. There's not a lot of supply at that first day of EA Access and there's not a lot of people buying that because they know there's other cards out there and that EA Access is coming and the packs are going to be open, right? So... Those are two easy methods that you can mess around with very cheap cards and make some coins by flipping and flipping and flipping. And then we can start to think about investing as we get through the end of EA Access into the pre-order stuff, ones to watch starts coming out. And when you have built up around 100,000 coins, 150K, 200K, we can maybe start to look at a couple things that you can invest in. But I, basically the goal of this video today, and it's getting very long and I'll stop talking, and let you go. But the main premise of this video today is just keep in mind who you're selling to. You're selling to people that are just on the web app. The game is not out yet, so people really aren't buying coins for their teams. They're just buying coins to set up a team that they can use when they get access to the actual console game. And flip, 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 turnover, turnover, turnover. Bring a card in, sell it for hire. That's what your goal is. That's what you want to do in this stage of FIFA 20 web app on fifa ultimate team so if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out